And so what triggered me basically into being in a bad house mood right now is because we took the water heater out and switched to the tankless water heater. And now the water pressure isn't as good for one and two. <coughs> The water doesn't get hot as quick, which is the opposite of what a tankless water heater is supposed to do. So I'm confused. I don't get it. That is something. Well, <clears throat> the first part to that, I mean, it, sometimes it does take a little while. It's fairly quick, though, usually. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> that part. <clears throat> also, your plumbing, you know, I doubt, or I highly doubt there's anything uh, wrong with the lines, but you know it could be in proper installation um and palm springs you know they're older homes you know so obviously you're gonna have a lot of problems with uh hard water um especially in a lot of towns like that um hard hard water is probably the worst on so see if you go tankless um you have to make you have to do a lot of maintenance on that at least twice a year some people wait every year but you have to clean it out you have to uh, uh siphon it or not siphon but uh circulate it <clears throat> pump with a pump um that's water that's waterproof all that it's a water pump and you have to s siphon all that out not siphon recirculate it and then s pump it out but <clears throat> yeah there's a lot of buildup with hard water deposits all that calcium shit stuff and, um, but the main thing with that is I don't understand why, and see with natural, with natural, uh, gas, I mean, or even, uh, electric hot water heaters, you know, you don't have to worry about that stuff as much because it has a tank and it's a different setup. The whole thing's different, <clears throat> but anyway, <clears throat> the issue is why in the world, I don't understand it. Why in the world, if it's a rental or you're going to make it or turn it into a rental if it's a rental property, why in the world would you get a tankless hot water heater? That makes no sense. Because a tankless is for usually luxury homes that you enjoy for personal use. For, or, you know, or you're going to sell it. You want everything for the latest modern. You know, it's a neat feature, right? For a rental, a tankless hot water heater gives you constant endless hot water why on earth would you want if you're so imagine that someone goes in there they enjoy that warm water and they say oh wow and they know that it just you know tankless hot water heater if you know if you see it you know what it is if you enjoy hot water you're gonna enjoy it longer i mean there are people that will stay in the tub for an hour with the water just running on them leave it on that's just one person they enjoy it They'll actually be in, in that tub, in that shower, taking longer showers, using more water, you know, also the causing drain to get clogged up, you know, just all that buildup, all that buildup. So it's just one of those things that for a rental, why would you do that? I actually personally would actually get a 30 gallon, um, you know, which is, is some on the smaller side for a house like that. But I would actually get it a smaller size just so they would run out of warm water. So then they would actually have to be like, it, just get out there, get out sooner, not really have to worry. So, you know, just not have to worry about it running so much. They can't get enough hot water just in and out and they'll have enough. It won't run out that quick. But I mean, where they can't just uh, fool around and stay in there so long, which is a good idea, because if you're paying the water bill and your sewer and your garbage, your gas and electricity and if anything else, it adds up very quickly, especially, especially as a rental, because you don't know these people. People will destroy things. People will cause stuff to happen.